sight in the game to see the boxing boy. Can you be a little more specific on how easy it has been making weight? Because I was checking and uh, you probably haven't been under 158 in close to 10 years. So how do you plan on getting a 157? Uh, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I haven't had to. That That's the reason why I haven't been under. But, um, you know, I guess it, it'll just take that extra little bit of uh, sweat. Um, you know, you wear, you wear a sweat jacket occasionally just to draw out that last little bit of sweat. And, uh, you know, it, it will be a fraction harder. It will be a little bit harder. But, you know, I, I will will be able to replace that sweat as well. They say the extra that you put in the gym to, to lose those extra pounds, uh, you have to pay for it in the later rounds where you'll be a bit faded. Do you think that you're, and you know, you're a guy that's always been active in the ring every round. So do you think that that's going to affect uh, the Daniel Gill that we're accustomed to seeing with a high output? No, I, I don't believe it's going to. I think I think the the big reason why is you know I've put in a great training camp. I've had help along the way. Um, you know I've had people guiding me on what I need to do to be able to make this weight. And you know I'm I'm going to do it properly. And you know I'll make that 157. And uh, you know I'll feel great at the end of it. How excited now, Daniel, are you um, fighting in Brooklyn? I'm very excited. You know I love Brooklyn. It's you know it's been great. Um, you know having a bit of a walk around, having a bit of a look around. The, the last couple of days have been a bit colder, but. <laughs> Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a beautiful place. Daniel, uh, Cotto and, and Darren Barker are no comparison. So for the people that seen the Darren Barker performance, um, how do they get past that and say, well, he could beat Cotto? Yeah, I mean, everybody's going to have their own opinion anyway. And, uh, you know, that, that's the, the great thing about boxing. I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I believe I just have to fight the way that I, I know how to fight best and that that is use my boxing skills my footwork my movement and that and that's you know that I've seen in the past that's given Miguel Cotto a lot of trouble so you know if, if I stick to my guns um, you know I don't go out and do anything stupid don't try and knock him out or, or anything silly like that you know I'm, I'm in with a great chance and the, the great thing about it as well is you know I think Miguel Cotto and his camp are you know, looking past me um, very much so and uh, you know they're looking for big money fights and uh, you know they, they don't believe that I'm gonna you know put up that much of a fight but I'm, I'm not here to lose. So have you envisioned yourself fighting Canelo Alvarez instead of Cotto? Because obviously if you beat him you upset the apple card and you can get that big fight with uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez or even a rematch with Gennady Golovkin. Yeah, well, I'm not looking past this fight. I, I look one fight at a time, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll talk to my team afterwards. Uh, you know, our our main focus is just to win this fight. That's all. I can't yet. No, I have to. I have to stay focused on this fight. If I start worrying about other things, then I, I fall into his trap. Thank you very much.